Now I want to talk about RSI. So to calculate RSI, uh, you do Excel is a little bit more complicated. You need actually uh, text column. So what's the formula? Uh, we calculate the relative strength index. It's very simple. Uh, if today's price higher than yesterday, then you set to one, otherwise zero. If today's price lower, you set to one, otherwise zero. And then up is the sum of the past end data U, and down is sum of the past end data D. And then RS is the ratio of up to down, and RSI is a uh, normalized RS. It's hundred times RS over one plus RS. So that's how you can calculate, and then you calculate U as is column C, D column column D, and then up as column E and F as column down, and RS is the ratio of up to down, and then RSI is normalized. So let's see the Excel spreadsheet here. Up it just a very simple, just the price of uh, B4 over B3. If that case is one, and reversely, if uh, B4 is less than B3, D is one. So you can copy this and all the way down, and um, up will be the past uh, 14 days because example 14 days, and down will be the past 14 days down. Um, and then RS will be just the ratio, and RSI will be just normalized based on the formula. And here we want to check, uh, we want to remove this column and do it by one single column RSI VBA. So how do we do about that? So it's very simple. We just, uh, uh, based on the price range to be input. So in that case, uh, we don't need to need n anymore. This is more flexible uh, because uh, depend on what's the input. The input price is the past n days, and then uh, then we're done. So we don't we don't even need to tell uh, what's p zero plus n. So basically, what you input and then it's done. Okay. So uh, here we define up, down, and count as long, and count will be counting days. RS is the, uh, the column D, right? Up and down, actually column E and F. And we don't need to calc we don't need to save column C and column D. We calculate as we see. And here we do is for each day. So because uh, we want to loop over the prices, because price are the, the, f the input of the prices we give as a range. So we we'll loop over them. And uh, basically we count start from day one because uh, Day one we don't do it, so start from day two because uh, day one we don't have comparison, right? So start from day two, and you compare to day's value compared to the day before. Okay, if more than that, up go to one, otherwise uh, down go by one. Look over them, look at the count. Okay, go to next day, right? And and means you look over the fourteen days price, right? Right. Then, if down more than zero, then you divide up over down and then this formula, right? Otherwise, you get 100. So, this is uh, to make sure that when this is the down is zero, our RSI is defined 100. So, this is to take care of the special case. I do note that a lot of programming, actually, the special case would be a uh, uh, spend more time to handle special case than the normal case. So, uh, look at the VBA. So, this is exactly what. Uh, See here, there is a uh, up and down. So um, and uh, so let's run it. And this is the formula. And then you can see it exactly the same. So this is how uh, you can use RSI to simplify the six column.